And we are here with one of the newest members of the Silver and Black linebacker, Tanner Musen. Tanner, congratulations, man. What was that moment like when you got the call from Coach Gruden? And what, it must have been an incredible one to be able to share that with your family. Just kind of take us through that, what that was like. Yeah, it was super excited, super humbled. Uh, just a kid from a small town in Belmont, North Carolina, being able to just uh, hear my name called. Uh, seeing it on the TV, you know, just uh, I'm just so blessed uh, to be a part of such a great organization and uh, have my family and friends around. So just my support staff has helped me get to this point. It was good to see them just uh, be excited with me in the moment. And uh, we really enjoyed it. And we're going to cherish, cherish this weekend and really just uh, celebrate all the all the hard work and dedication it's taken to get here. What is a, I'm curious, Tanner, what does your phone look like the day after you get drafted or in the immediate minute? What is I mean, I can't even imagine. Does the phone just shut down at some point? It, it gets to that where it just kind of like freezes at times, but the battery life is no good. Uh, I think it was like 10 this morning. I had to get a charge. It's like, what, what do you need to charge it for? I said, I'm already about 20%. But uh, it's, it's a good thing. Uh, everybody from here and uh, Raider Nation has been – just pulling for me, congratulating me. So uh, it's a blessing, it really is. I mean, when you when you drew this out, right? Because everyone has those little kid dreams about going to play in college and then ending up in the NFL. I mean, I can't imagine when you drew it out that you'd be able to have it go any better than this. Like you said, reuniting with a bunch of old buddies, you know, yeah. putting on one of the most iconic uniforms in North American sports. I mean, did you ever let the dream get to this point? Yeah, I always, I always knew I could compete at the highest level, but it was all about just putting the work in. Um, so, as as a young kid, I always wanted to be I always wanted to be the guy, you know. And I feel like I've uh, a lot of people ask me like, "Yeah, you really proved them wrong. You really proved the haters wrong." But it's not about proving people wrong. It's about proving the the people right that have always been in your corner and uh, by your side this whole time. So just being able to just uh, the people that have believed in me for so long, just being able to just show them that I can do this, that I am the I am this kind of player. It's just uh, very fulfilling for me. You go into the pro day, you run that four three eight. What were your kind of goals and expectations, and what did you want these coaches and GMs to really know about you throughout this draft process? Yeah, so nobody really gave me uh, any credit running my 40. So uh, at the combine, I was like, I got to turn heads doing that. Um, so I felt like I did that. I ran really well. And then we did, got into the drill work. And I did all the DB drills in Indy, and I, I felt like I was really fluid in my motions because I just – been able to work on them when you get into a season you get to where you're it's all game plan you don't really get to show off as much of your movements and things like that and then thankfully enough I was able to do my pro day a lot of guys unfortunately couldn't with this pandemic going around but we got it in got to do all my linebacker drills show my short shuttle my L and showing teams that I can move and I really think it just everything through this process has built me up whether it's interviews uh, combine pro day has really been it's really been good for me you know we were listening to Mike Mayock talk last night and he said one thing that is going to be important for you he goes I want Tanner to learn the mic and I want him to learn Will and he goes he's going to have a lot of stuff that's going to be on his plate next year but he, he has the, the mental fortitude to do it he's going to be capable of learning all of this when you take a look at really just the the football education part of it does that excite you that you're going to be able to learn all these new things you're going to become such a an integral piece that you're going to be able that uh, Coach Gunther's going to be able to move around that defense? Yeah, I think um, one problem with, with football is people become stagnant. They, they do the same thing over and over, year in, year out, and uh, that's something that is never really the, the case at Clemson. I got to play a lot of different positions. We got to run a lot of different defenses as the years got on, and it was always something new to learn. There's always a new edge for me to get uh, in the grand scheme of things, and it's really developed me as a player. So being able to just go in and uh, – Everybody having the confidence in me to learn these things and having a lot on my plate, that's where I strive uh, when my back's against the wall and there's only one way forward. So uh, I look forward to the challenge, and uh, I feel like I'm a very uh, football-educated mind, so uh, I look forward to the challenge. Yeah, let me put your GM hat on for a second, Tanner. Give me the scouting report on Big John. What's he do well? Big John, he is a beast. So he came in uh, – I'm a year older than him, so he came in and I saw him. I was like, this dude is going to be a – do you know you get that quote unquote do that's not used a lot you know you, you it's very rare when you get to call somebody a dude you know I don't, I don't know the last time we've had a offensive lineman be drafted really big guy real uh real strong got that attitude that edge you need on the football field and he's just a really good humble dude so uh, i look forward to just getting back with him and uh getting back to work you guys this collective draft class that you're part of 
is going to be part of history in the sense that you are the first draft class for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I know this is probably a question that is better asked, you know, 10, 15 years from now when you wrap up your career. But what does it mean to you that you're going to be part of this first group that is going to open Allegiant Stadium, that is going to be the first professional football team in Las Vegas? That's got to be, for lack of a better term, that's just got to be super cool. It's special. It really is. Uh, It really hasn't settled yet just because just there's so much craziness going around in my life right now but I'm just super blessed and humbled by this opportunity and I think this class is going to be very special uh, when you look at the picks that we've gotten we've gotten some steals I think Brian Edwards uh, going against him year in year out in the rivalry he's a special dude uh, I, I know firsthand you know but uh, I feel like this class is going to be very special and uh, just just another momentum step going into this new stadium I'm really looking forward to getting in there uh, seeing how it is I, I I said it looked like the Death Star. So uh, the dark side of Tanner Music is coming out very soon. Oh, I like that. And the fans are going <laughs> to love that, brother. And the last one, man, can we expect – is this beautiful mustache of yours? Is it going to make it to the desert? Please, I beg of you, tell me that it is. <laughs> I don't know. Nobody loves it. Everybody, they're like half and half. I got it kind of drawn down a little bit where it's got a little hint of a Fu Manchu, but just a little bit of hint of a Dr. Disrespect mustache. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you know him. The, the, the I do. Streamer. I'm the streamer. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know Dr. Two time, and I'm the, I'm a two time. I'm two time national champion. So uh, you oh. don't mess with the two time, <laughs> as he likes to say. But uh, we'll see. I, I can do a little bit like within this little frame. I can't grow a beard, but I can get a goatee going. Uh, this stash might stay. It might not. We'll see. Oh, you got to keep the people on your toes. Well, hey, Tanner, congratulations, yeah. man. We mean that so sincerely. We are so excited to get you out here to Vegas. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the next couple of days with your family. But we got a lot of work to do, brother. So we cannot wait yeah, no till we see you in person whenever that may be. But like I said, dude, enjoy it and congratulations. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.